It's August uh, 27th, 2016. Uh, back in January, February, March, April, I did an airlay video for my sister, and I sent her the video of how to airlay the ohia. Actually, it's for any plants. Um, this is a follow-up video. I wanted to show her how the roots came out. And you can see here all the roots that have come off of this air layer that I made. Actually, this could have been cut probably a month ago, but I forgot about doing it. And then I was cleaning, cleaning plants up in the greenhouse, and I found that I hadn't done anything with this for... Anyway, it's four months old, the air lay is. So I'm going to unwrap it so you can, can give you a close-up of all the roots that are in here. This is the foil that I wrapped around it. Now you can see how it rooted and how the, where the roots came out. The close up. One of the roots went up that way, but these roots actually start right in here on the top of that cut that we put in it. And you can see the roots coming clear down into the, almost into the dirt. They're ready to root right into the dirt now. In fact, man, some of them might have already. So that's what the roots look like just after four months. Could have cut this off in three months. Like I said, I forgot about it. I'm going to show you how I cut it off and what the tree will look like after I cut it off. This is the same tree, except that just in four months time it's probably added another six to eight inches of growth. So it's a very healthy tree. You can see the roots coming out of the bottom plant, the pot, which means that this tree has to be repotted. So we'll probably be doing that today. I have to pot that today. I'm going to show you how to cut it off. When you go to cut it off, try to not cut too many roots. You can't help but cut some, but the, but the idea of the whole thing was to make roots, not to cut roots. So. Okay, there's the cut. Clean up the parent plant a little bit. If you have wound coat, put some wound coat on that. Here's the finished product. Actually, it's almost finished, but it's really not finished. Usually when I pot them, because there's usually a less roots to support all this foliage, because the parent plant was supporting part of this. I usually go ahead and prune this uh, foliage back to about half. That gives the roots a chance to get established and then start feeding the plant, the whole plant. So there are a few little things you can prune off here if I can find the cutters. Okay. You want to prune off any excess that doesn't do a lot of good. I said you want to cut back about half of the foliage. That's too bad it's got to go, but it does. But you'll be surprised in a few weeks this, this thing will be going gangbusters. So, cut it back. Here's a bloom that uh, has expended itself already. You might as well cut it off. All it's going to do is make, all it would do is make seeds for me. Of course, you don't have this type of plant. You've got rhododendrons and all kinds of other plants that you can air lay. So there's an air lay that's completed. Before I pot it, I usually separate these roots a little bit. Find the bottom of the cut. <coughs> And 
try to cut this off so that just so it'll fit in the pot a little better without that stump sticking down there. And now it's ready to pot. So today, one of my projects will be to get this thing potted and to repot the parent plant into a bigger barrel. Oh, well, anyway, you've got the idea. You see the end result of the air lay. Uh, I guess that's it. Uh, I hope you're successful. Sometimes it's a uh, Sometimes it's a matter of a green thumb doing plants. If you don't have a green thumb, I don't know, it might not work out. But mine all almost always take. I'm probably 95% successful. So anyway, that's the video.